So I'm going to teach you a couple of tricks to be able to read your assignment better. One, you're not going to be using speaker notes, so you can just pull that back. I clicked on it and I pulled it back. Two, most of the things you, most of the tools you'll be using are right here in this Google toolbar, okay? Obviously this is for printing if you prefer to print on paper. If you prefer to work on paper, sorry, and you can print out your assignment and send me a picture of it. This is to zoom, this is to add a text box, this is to add in, to insert images. I'm gonna teach you how to use these as we go along the way. So this is a short introduction. You see how like it's really small and I can't read it because I'm old. You can go up here and zoom and it'll zoom 100%. Or you can also try to zoom in to where you think is appropriate for you. Let's try 50%, okay? You can pretty much read that. So the first one is just like a cover. You're welcome to read it. Second one shows you what different tools of the toolbar do does, okay? So like from here to here. Each slides has, each slide has, or section of slides has instructions, okay? I did the first one for you already. I'm going to teach you how to redo it because I forgot to delete it before starting this, okay? So the first one's pretty straightforward. It says Middle Ages vocabulary. You have vocab words and it's asking you for a definition and then it's asking you to insert an image. So how do you do this? What I did was the following. I opened up a new tab and I put Middle Ages definition into the search tool and I got this definition. I'm going to copy this definition either by using um, a keyboard shortcut or by clicking the right mouse button and pressing copy. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. And you'll notice that when I click on these boxes automatically a bar appears meaning that I can type into the box. So I'm going to paste my definition. Here's the deal guys. I don't want you to just copy paste definitions. I want you to actually show me you understand the definition. So you need to change this definition into your own words. So we're going to do that. Some of the definitions are hard to do that, but we're going to try, okay? So it says the period of European history from the fall of Rome, the Roman Empire to in the West to the fall of Constantinople, now, more narrowly from blank blank. So I'm going to put the time period of European history from 1000 to 1453. It ended with... the fall of Constantinople. The next one, I'm gonna delete this image so I can re-put it in there. Sorry about that, guys. I've filmed this like a hundred times, seriously. Then says, we're going to insert an image, right? You see this pretty tool, this pretty tool here? It says insert image. If you click on this arrow, it says search the web. It'll open up this here and you can put Middle Ages. Here's the Middle Ages timeline. I'm just gonna use this picture. See how I clicked on the picture and this appeared, insert? I'm gonna press insert. Here's the only deal with this, okay? You're gonna have to zoom out again. Since the picture is huge and I just wanted this little box here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of these corners, the blue ones. You're just gonna put your mouse on top of it. You're gonna click on the mouse and then pull the picture back. So the picture becomes smaller. And then you're going to move the picture. How do you move the picture? Don't click on the boxes because then it's just gonna reshape the picture. Here I need it a little bit smaller. You're going to click in the middle of the picture and just move it into the box, okay? Here's the thing, you don't need to save anything. If you'll notice, all changes have automatically been saved for you. You don't need to turn the assignment in until you're completely finished with all 17 slides, okay? So every day you just work on your assignment and I'm going to be able to log into your assignment without you having to turn it in to see how you have advanced. How do you move from slide to slide? You go to the left hand side of your screen and you just move up and down. Okay. Each slide has different instructions. See here it says use the map located here to learn about the locations of various European tribes. You see how here is in blue and underlined? Usually that means 
that there's a link beneath it. So if you click on the word here, you'll see how this appears. And if you click on this link, it'll take you to this map, okay? The instructions are place the labels in their correct location and then use the arrow to, to show their invasion of um, Rome. So we look at the map, okay? See how the map, this is supposed to be the whole Roman Empire, guys. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to take one of these. Remember to click like somewhere in the middle of the box in order to be able to move it. When this tool appears, you are able to move it to where you want them to go. And in order to insert an arrow, you go to here, it says arrow, and you can just draw the arrow to where they invaded, okay? So those are the instructions for here. Make sure that you answer the question down here also, okay? See, it has a link because it was blue and underlined, right? So if you want to type in your answer here, since it doesn't allow you to click anywhere else to write because you have to open the link, you're going to go up here to toolbox, text box, sorry, and insert a text box so you are able to type.